Alright, in this video I want to do an example of a word problem that involves perimeter. And in this problem we're going to have a little rectangular garden and it's going to be 2.5 times as long as it is wide. If we know that it has a perimeter of 168 feet, we want to know just the dimensions. How long and how wide is the garden? So, I'm at least I'm very visual. I like to see a picture for these sorts of things. And again, you know, you may not need it in this case at all. But we've got a little rectangular garden. And I usually try to, you know, label things accurately. So it's 2.5 times as long as it is wide. So 2.5 times as long as it is wide. So that to me means it's longer than it is wide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to label you know, the sides of my little garden. So this is our garden here. That's what it's supposed to be anyway. So I could, you know, label this as A and B and C and D, or I could start, you know, just throwing letters on anywhere. But, you know, when you have more information, half the battle is labeling the picture correctly. So, okay, so it's certainly longer than it is wide. So maybe I'll call that L and I'll as a result, this other side would also be L because it's a rectangle. If I label this side as W for the width, again, since it's a rectangle, this would also have to be the same width of W. Well, remember the perimeter is just the distance around the object. So the distance around, we would have to go W plus L plus W plus L. And if we combine our like terms here, we have 1w and 1w, which will give us 2w. And then we have 1l and 1l, which will give us 2l. And that would be our formula for our perimeter of our rectangle. But again, we still have a little bit more information. Um, again, we know that it's 2.5 times as long as it is wide. We also know that the perimeter is 168 feet. Well, so on the left side, the P, that's again the perimeter, we can simply plug in the perimeter is 168. Okay, now this other part, it says it's 2.5 times as long as it is wide. We want to somehow rewrite that, that English statement as an equation. And to me, it's, either, it's going to be one of the two. Either the width is 2.5L, or the length is 2.5 w. And I think which one of these two is correct? Well, to me, the first equation says the width is 2.5 times the length. But that's not what it says. It says it's 2.5 times as long as it is wide. So that means the length equals, well, 2.5 times the width. And again, if you think about it, if the 2.5 wasn't there, that would say the length and the width are exactly equal. Well, since we're multiplying the width by some number bigger than 1, it says the length is actually bigger than that original width. So I think the first one just doesn't quite make sense. So we're going to use this equation, this fact that we can replace, that basically we can replace anywhere we see an L, we can replace it with this 2.5 times W. And this to me is, you know, this is kind of one of the hard parts, is, is kind of sorting out these things and rewriting them correctly. All right, so what I'm going to do is, so we've got 2w plus 2 times l, but again, we know that l is 2.5 times w based on what we just said. And now the whole idea is, well, we've got a linear equation and one variable. We can now just do a little bit of algebra to solve for our variable w. So we've got 168 2w. If we take 2 times 2.5, that'll give us 5w. And again, now I'm, uh, all I'm going to do is just collect my like terms on the right side. So 2w plus 5w is going to be 7w. And again, I'm trying to solve for w here, so what I'm going to do is just simply divide both sides by 7. So on the right side, we have 7w over 7, which will just leave us with w. So 168 divided by 7, um, I think that actually 
believe that actually works uh, nicely. So let's see. So 168 divided by 7, I believe that's going to give us 24 when we solve, when we reduce 168, 168 over 7. We should get the number 24. So it says, hey, actually the width, the width in this case, so it says the width is actually equal to 24 feet. And we know that the length is equal to 2.5 times the width. So it says the length will be 2.5 times 24. And if you take 2.5 times 24, well, 2 times 24 is 48. Half of 24 would be 12. So 48 and 12, I'm getting 60. So to me, it says the width should be 24 feet, and it looks like the length should equal 60 feet.